<laughs> I once got paid to fake a granny fetish. <laughs> well, so many questions. Uh, who, who paid you? Uh, one of Australia's most prestigious law firms, but they were being paid by one of the country's largest telecommunications companies, naturally. Well, was, there a, was there a granny at the head of that organisation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, there was not. What, what, what did you have to do to demonstrate your granny fetish? Uh... <laughs> 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 yes. Well, more specifically, to... what did the granny have to do? <laughs> <laughs> um, I had to have really quite energetic phone sex with the granny. How, how would you define energetic? <laughs> <laughs> to completion. Um, <laughs> Can you give us a demonstration of, of, say, a sentence that you might remember from the energetic phone sex? Not in this time slot, no. <laughs> could, you, could you replace all of the rude words with pineapple and give us a sentence? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Tell me about your pineapple. <laughs> this could get confusing yeah. because a lot of grannies do cook with pineapple. <laughs> so... Just, I'm still confused about the why in this. I was paid by a law firm. You, you remember 0055 phone numbers where you, were, where you could ring up and, and no. have... No. No. Call me. Call yeah, me now. Sort of, <laughs> sort of, yeah. That's exactly right. Mm. I thought you sounded familiar. <laughs> <laughs> How's your pineapple going? <laughs> there was, however, there was a rule... That, so 0055 it was the number that you'd ring to have phone sex. And there were some people whose the phone sex they were having was too explicit for the guidelines of the 0055 number. Too many too pineapples. pineapples. Yeah, yeah, it was just wall-to-wall -wall pineapple. It was a tropical orgy. Yeah. <laughs> there was a certain fee to do that you would have for a 0055 number. If yeah. you want to do fully explicit material, mm. you would have to pay a higher fee. Right. So what the well, client didn't like was there were a bunch of people doing the full-blown stuff on the cheap line they should have been paying a greater fee. But they needed evidence <laughs> to knock people off the phone lines, that, the, off the 0055 system, and that's where I came in. So, right. So you were just trying to get the grand to be too explicit so they could nail her for getting cheap pineapple work. That's exactly... That is basic, what I would do. You were basically beating up on poor grandmothers trying to earn a quid. Um, when did this become Sky News? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in two minds about a suggestion that I'm about to make, Michaela. I thought you were such a wonderful actor. Oh, boy. You could play at Granny. <laughs> and, Charlie, you can be trying to catch her out. Because, I mean, I don't know about you, I'd like to hear how this sounds. <laughs> ring, ring. Ring, ring. Double O, double five, hot granny. This is Beryl. <laughs> what can I do you for? <laughs> Beryl, you, you sound spry for a granny. Do you like pineapples? <laughs> oh, I like pineapples very much. Mm. I went to Costco and got a big box of pineapples. <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> I think been... Beryl's off the hook. <laughs> She's not doing anything up to all. She's not doing anything to all. Oh, it would have changed. I guess all we want to know, I guess just finally, like, did it work? Like, did they bust the grannies? For eight hours a day, a total of 80 hours of phone sex we recorded, and they were, without exception, some of the bluest grannies you've ever heard in your life. They really? all crossed the line. <gasps> and would have, would have lost their 0055 number. Did every single granny use the joke, what's pink and hangs out your undies? <laughs> 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 On that note, Chris is pink. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is pink and hangs out your undies? Nana, your grandma. Oh, hello. Get your mind out of Are the Are you buying Chrissy? any of this? I mean, if it is true, it seems an incredibly cruel, petty thing. Mm. But I, I get a vibe it could actually be true. It could actually be true, but it's, it still doesn't sound quite right. I'm not digging it that way. I feel like it's plausible. I think it's plausible too. So I think two of us think truth, so we'll say truth. 
They're going with truth. Charlie Pickering, is that a truth or a lie? It is true. 